Coming up, Disney files permits for Project Nugget, a rumored 50th anniversary fireworks show now underway. We take a look at the latest progress on the walkway, soon to connect the Grand Floridian to the Magic Kingdom, and Disney finally strikes a deal with their equity actors, bringing entertainment back to Walt Disney World. All that and more on the way. This is Mickey Views News. All who come to this happy place, Welcome. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. Starting off at the Magic Kingdom, this week we've got a big story. For the first time since the lockdowns began, a new project has started at the Walt Disney World Resort in the form of Project Nugget, as we discovered on this permit filed a few days ago for electrical work to be done by Disney's Buena Vista Construction Company on the site of 1440 Floridian Way, which is an access road behind the Magic Kingdom, home to engineering services, as well as the launch site for all of those fireworks you see during normal times at Walt Disney World. Of course, right now there are no fireworks and the Magic Kingdom closes at 7 p.m. before it's even dark outside. And starting next month, the park will be closing even earlier at 6 p.m. We went into detail on all the latest with park operations in our video yesterday. So you're probably wondering, what is this Project Nugget all about? We know it's a large enough scale project to get its own name, which isn't something that's afforded to most projects at Walt Disney World. It has to be pretty big to get that sort of distinction. We no work for the project is happening at the site of the firework launch, the firework launch site. Project Nugget could mean Project Gold, Rose Gold Castle, golden 50th anniversary at Walt Disney World. That's sort of the line of logic you could drive between this code name and what it could actually be for. Right now, this is technically a rumor, but basic common sense, I think, tells us Disney is working on their 50th anniversary nighttime spectacular as we speak. And further info towards this being the case, as some of you know, I'm pretty tuned in on the nighttime entertainment side of the Walt Disney Company. And I can tell you, unlike some of the other permits, like the ones we got during the lockdown where they filed permits and it really didn't seem like the work they filed permits for was actually happening due to all the funding issues and everything going on right now. This project is happening right now at night after dark at 2 a.m. behind the Magic Kingdom. There are some very talented folks getting all of this put together and it's so great to hear this show is happening because if you didn't know Happily Ever After, it was never meant to last. It was supposed to be a temporary show to bridge wishes with the 50th anniversary show in 2021. Something to go in between those. Disney has been planning this 50th anniversary nighttime spectacular for a very long time. And given how popular Happily Ever After became, which I think even surprised Disney, it's quite possible we could see Happily Ever After come right back after they're done with the 50th anniversary. But starting sometime in 2021, probably October 2021 if I had to guess, it's very likely we are going to have a different fireworks show for a short time in the form of a special show to commemorate the 50th anniversary I'm so excited for that. Let me know what you guys think. And it's great to see this Project Nugget still happening because you may not have known this, but coming into this year, 2020, Disney had budgets lined up and ready to go. They had greenlit a bunch of projects for the Magic Kingdom's 50th. They were gonna add some special magic to a whole laundry list of attractions that are currently in the park. Some of those I was very excited about. And as a result of this unforeseen situation we're currently in, a lot of that had to be taken off the table. There's no new nighttime parade. I think Stitch is great escape uh, the project they were going to put in there. I think that might have been shelved. I'm not really sure on that one. And the one that I'm really hoping we still get is what Disney was going to do with the Carousel of Progress. You may notice the Carousel of Progress in Tomorrowland. It has a beautifully updated exterior. It looks brand new right now. It looks awesome. But then you go inside and the interior, it's all old and everything in there could definitely use some love. Imagineering has been trying to get a budget to do exactly that for a long time to update the inside. We could get a whole new opening scene to the attraction, you know, where currently you have the curtains and that old Carousel of Progress gear icon uh, that Disney has since replaced on the outside of the pavilion. But given all this COVID stuff going on, it really is up in the air right now. What exactly we will be getting for the 50th anniversary in the Magic Kingdom. It could be a lot, it could be a little, but at least now we can be fairly certain we've got a special nighttime spectacular on the way. Also over in the Magic Kingdom this week, I hopped on the monorail and captured the latest footage of the Grand Floridian to Magic Kingdom 
walkway, which includes this bridge in the middle, which swings open to allow the electrical water pageant floats to come in and out of the canal that's west of the Magic Kingdom. Those coming in and out of that spot is why we've never had a walkway on that side of the Seven Seas Lagoon. That's why you couldn't walk from the Grand Floridian or the Polynesian right to the Magic Kingdom, but now you will be able to. And as you can see, the area where that swinging bridge is, it's all good to go. The walkway's done, the bridge is done, it's all ready and looks really, really nice. The real work happening right now is over by where the walkway will meet up with the Magic Kingdom entrance. There you can see Disney is working on permanent structures for security. They're setting those up. Interestingly though, Disney has also assembled a temporary walkway that branches off of the future permanent walkway that skips that area that is still heavily under construction and instead bypasses it and connects to the Magic Kingdom monorail station, complete with what looks to be maybe a bag check, a security there, or perhaps that'll be a temperature check tent. So it's possible this new walkway Disney has assembled could open before that section closest to the Magic Kingdom that still has a long way to go is complete. We'll just have to wait and see on that. Moving over to Epcot, there's lots happening. Work has resumed on Guardians of the Galaxy, the Play Pavilion, Space 220, Ratatouille. Very good to see, and we'll be covering all of that in depth next week in person. I'll be getting you some awesome footage of all that work going on. But also another project that has resumed work many people may not think about right now is the work that is going on at the Epcot Marina behind the African Outpost, where work is back in full force on Harmonious, the new nighttime spectacular coming to Epcot, where as you can see in this aerial from Bio Reconstruct, right now they're assembling those LED screen barges that will be out on the water. Those barges have motorized moving arms that will go on top of the screens, and those motorized moving arms that will go up and down. They have spotlights on them, which is going to be absolutely wild when we see that actually come to life. And on the topic of nighttime entertainment in Epcot, Epcot Forever, which was the interim show we had in between Illuminations and Harmonious, and they have already had its last show. Because if you look at that marina area, uh, many of the Epcot Forever uh, barges, a lot of the infrastructure is missing. And I'd like to throw out there the awesome kites that we had for Epcot Forever. Even if the show doesn't return, we may not have seen the last of those Epcot Forever kites because they could be heading over to the Animal Kingdom where Disney is currently amidst developing a new nighttime show that will replace the Rivers of Light. That is not official uh, or news or anything, just something I've heard from a bunch of my sources lately, so we'll see what happens there. Can you imagine having those kites over by the Expedition Everest at night permanently? Uh, not like a temporary thing like Epcot Forever. That would definitely be pretty awesome. And then last up in Walt Disney World today, I am proud to say Disney has finally come to an agreement with the Actors' Equity Association, which comprises many of the professionals you see at the resort doing all the entertainment in the parks with all sorts of shows and things like that. The story goes that since the actors can't practice social distancing like other cast members can, they have to be in close proximity, they can't always wear masks, they wanted access to testing uh, because they are being put at risk. And at the time, Disney said they wouldn't be able to provide testing, so the equity actors were not called back. But now Disney has finally set up on-site COVID testing for cast members and their families. And along with that announcement from Disney, the Association for the Equity Actors has said that they are returning. This whole no equity actors at Walt Disney World thing that's been going on the last month, it did create some pretty odd situations you may not have known about. For example, without all those actors, uh, because they weren't there, they weren't working at Walt Disney World, there was nobody to do, for example, Beauty and the Beast live on stage at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So what Disney had to do instead is make it into a musical show with musicians. They put the Disney Society Orchestra on the stage instead. The Disney Junior Dance Party had to be replaced with just a Disney Junior Play and Dance. It was called All Quite Odd, but point being the equity actors are back. That's the latest in Walt Disney World today. Be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss any of the news on the way. We've got geodesic masks and a limited edition 100,000 subscriber shirt up for sale on our Teespring store. If you'd like to support the broadcast, link below for that. Thank you so much for watching. From the Mickey Muse Magic Studio, this is Brayden. I'll talk to you soon. Have a magical day.